Thanks for joining us here in Barcelona, where we meet with Al Belasco. Al is the Senior Vice President and Head of Media Core and Applications at Radisys. Al, thank you for joining us. Al, one of your key themes at MWC this year is enabling the network of the future. So how do you do that? Yeah, so one of the key um, things that I, if I think about the network of the future, it's about how to create experiences for people using connectivity that the network provides. And what's happened over the past few years has been really transformational in how people, the people's uh, users, whether it's consumers or businesses, the, their needs because people are learning over, over the network remotely, they're getting entertained remotely, um, they're, they're shopping remotely, and now they're able to leverage that remote network connectivity to continue to take advantage of those um, activities, but blend them with our in -person, uh, the in-person aspect that people have been able to uh, reconnect with uh, as the pandemic has wound down. So let's talk about your recently announced new offering. It's called Engage Media Analytics. How does it fit into your existing digital platform? Sure. So, uh, in fact, one year ago at Mobile World Congress, we introduced the Engage Digital Platform. And what the Engage Digital Platform is, is a software, uh, essentially layer, that sits on top of the network, and that can be a telecom network, a mobile operator's network, uh, uh, support landline and traditional PSTN applications, and also what we call over-the-top or data-oriented services. And it provides a set of off-the-shelf applications for those types of activities that I talked about, um, uh, as well as building blocks and APIs for developers to be able to unlock the potential of those networks and create new innovative applications. So now our customers no longer have to depend on their own internal development team. They may, they may have tens, they may have hundreds, they may have thousands of developers, but once they enable developers, outside developers and communities of millions or tens of millions of developers, they can really unlock innovation. And the Engage Media Analytics capability that we introduced at this year's show adds a new set of um, features or functions that allow in interactions via network, whether they're voice and video to be enhanced by being able to make inferences or get insights from those conversations. So you and I might have, you know, have this conversation and we're on a, on a phone call. In the background, in the network, that network may be able to be transcribing what we're saying, may analyze aspects of what we're saying, and even whether in, in that conversation, say I might have a digital assistant, it says we're talking about um, um, the next uh, Barcelona soccer match. Um, uh, maybe now I will get an email or an SMS that said, hey, there's a match tomorrow, do you want to buy tickets? Um, so get, getting those insights from the network and being able to apply them, one, for service providers to monetize them, and two, for the benefit of consumers to be able to enhance their experiences. So will developers be able to easily integrate this new platform into their existing infrastructure? So the, one of the benefits of the approach that we've taken is we've created the software layer that um, essentially insulates the user and the developer from the details of the network. We handle all that. Um, so uh, uh, the application user or the developer can say, oh, I want my application to be able to provide a digital assistant to support um, a business user or help a customer through a customer support interaction in an automated way rather than handing it off to an agent or giving, getting more information so if it is handed off to an agent, they can be more intelligent in terms of the background and context of that conversation to help that customer. So, they, so the application developer can say, what I want to do is allow this person to make a phone call over this network, um, connect with this agent, understand what they're saying and pass the call to that to that agent or that uh, um, expert within the company but they don't care about how that happens they just say this is what I want to happen in fact we have ways for even non developers or so non programmers to be able to create these business applications through graphical design tools so it's more in the logic of step here's what's going to happen you step along the way and I move a building block and I say you know fill in a few parameters in a drop down box and I hit compile the application and run, and it's off. So finally, how can different verticals and industries benefit from this new platform? 
Yeah, so there's a lot of interesting applications. Um, so to take that, um, to take the customer support um, application one step further, a lot, um, a lot of applications today, or a lot of customer support interactions are still either through text chat or using the old style voice response menu, touch one, or press or say one, press or say two. Now these applications can be very um, natural through conversations. And the network, the network of the future, which is available today, that network can understand what their caller is looking for and be able to help maybe solve their problem without having to hand it off to somebody. In fact, um, it may not be that intuitive, but a survey show that people actually prefer to do self-service rather than talking to a human. And, and I mean, that depends on the application. Um, but also from the business side of view, automating more of those interactions saves them money. That's just one example. Um, some of the other things we're demonstrating here at the show are the ability to, now with 5G networks um, um, proliferating and the uh, internet of things being, you know, it's not just, uh, it's not just, uh, you know, it's not just the uh, news and buzz, it's actually the way you walk and you drive around, your camera's at every intersection, um, you can have, uh, be able to take hundreds of thousands of video feeds, monitor for different things. What we're showing here is a, a pipeline, and if there's a uh, if there's a fire on that pipeline, um, be able to trigger uh, calls to emergency personnel to be able to pipe that video feed to maybe a security knock where they're monitoring it, even record that activity for you know post event uh, processing. Um, so those are you know the types of applications really vary from traditional enterprise customer care and unified communications to very tailored applications for industries, telemedicine, you know, manufacturing, smart cities, um, you know, the list is really endless. Al, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.